In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. To this truth, the Church of God holds on to today. But in 1925, the gospel was disregarded in the teachings of science teacher John Thomas Scopes. In a small high school in Dayton, Tennessee, nothing seemed out of the ordinary. Class was going on as usual, teachers could be heard proclaiming knowledge to their pupils. But in the science room of Mr. Scopes, something was wrong. By law in the state of Tennessee, teaching the idea of evolution in schools was illegal. It contradicted the words of Genesis 1 verse 1, upon which the preaching is firmly grounded. Against this law, Scopes taught evolution in his science class. News came of his doings and he was accused of violating the Tennessee state law. He was arrested and went to court to defend his actions, aided by the American Civil Liberties Union and the great attorney Clarence Darrow. Enter William Bryan Jennings, the three-time Democratic presidential candidate and Christian fundamentalist. He volunteered to help prosecute Scopes. The case began on July the 10th of 1925, dubbed the Monkey Trial, for evolution taught that humans evolved from primates. Great crowds of people flocked from the surrounding areas to watch the trial go down. They had made the event into some kind of carnival, with vendors all around selling food, refreshments, Bibles, and even monkey toys. Real-life chimpanzees were brought to entertain the masses. But the whole affair was anything but fun in reality. This would decide where the state, and even the nation, stood with regards to the gospel. Judge John Rolston led the trial. It was off to a rocky start when he was opposed for starting the proceeding with prayer. Scopes and his team attempted to prove the state law unconstitutional, and on the grounds of the trial being on Scopes, and not the law, Rolston destroyed the defense by ruling that the scientific explanation of evolution was inadmissible. The trial went on to the next day, when Rolston moved it to the courthouse lawn. There, in the open air, surrounded by a giant mob of onlookers, Clarence Darrow effectively made Jennings declare contradictory statements regarding his interpretation of the Bible. Darrow went on to then ask the jury to return the verdict of guilty anyways, just so that the case would be appealed. They agreed, and Rolston ordered Scopes to pay a $100 fine. Although he had won the case, Jennings' fundamentalist ideas and his beliefs had been publicly humiliated and disgraced. He laid down to a Sunday nap five days later, and never woke up. However, Jennings' court victory was not for long, as the Supreme Court overturned the verdict only two years later, and a similar one in 1968. The ruling of the monkey trial showed where the nation stood. No longer a nation under God but rather a nation straying further and further away from the truth of the scriptures. Nowadays, evolution is allowed to be taught in schools. But God's inspired gospel is still taught today in our schools and churches, and will never be fully taken away from us.